Hello everybody, Arrida here for another video for you guys for uh, the Play the Auction House. Just kidding. Don't close the video. I don't really talk like that. <laughs> Hope you guys are doing okay after the holiday season, even though that was long gone. So today I'm going to talk about a couple uh, really cool add-ons that I have that speed the process of your marketing and auctionating uh, on the auction house for WoW. So without further ado, let's take a look at what we have here. First thing I want to do is point out that I'm not a rookie that you're listening to. I have over 201,000 gold in my bags currently on this tune alone. Spread across all of my tunes, I have 667,324. Hmm, you say, hmm, well, I've got more than that. Well, I've had more than that. Let's take a look at total gold acquired. 1,971,747 40 copper and or 40 silver and 22 copper almost 2 million gold acquired throughout my career of wow now let's get started here with auctioneer i use this tab i just sold an inferno ruby this is the appraiser tab i'm going to go over real quick how to use this i just posted up some uh, maelstrom crystals but uh, I, it looks like i'm going to need to post some brilliant inferno rubies because i think i just sold the ones i had up there and I did. Okay, Tylevain just came in there and undercut by from 400 to 250. Now that's a huge, huge undercut. Okay, he expects me to buy all those, but I'm not going to buy those. Uh, that's just a friend real quick. So since he posted those at 250, I'm going to let those go for now. I'm not going to buy them because I have enough of my own gems to sell. Typically, I would buy those and resell them, but I have a feeling he's got a lot more um, than what he posted. So I'm going to go over here to the Delicate. You think gems are expensive on your server? Check this out. 419 gold. Gems were selling at 500 gold, and it's well, well, well into patch, the new patch, which is 4.2. Um, in fact, the new patch is said to hit this week, so 4.23, I think it is. So... Constantly selling things, just got to be uh, persistent with what you do and how you sell it, okay? Real quick, I'm going to show you an example of how I use appraiser. Saves you a lot of time because you don't have to shift click by, you know, oh, I got to shift click. Let's see how many of those are on there. Oh, look, this guy's got them up there for 419. No, none of that stuff. So we're just going to go back here, and all I have to do is just type it in, 419. He's got them up for 419. 99. I'm just going to go 99 because he's got 99, 98. I'm just going to go 419 and uh, back out on the last copper there. And I usually only post two at a time because if you post more than two, people get uh, intimidated by your posting and they'll try to post a, a bunch more undercutting you at a lot less. Now, the reason why I undercut so cheap is because you want to keep market prices up. Um, yes, it pisses people off, but would you rather me undercut you by 50 to 100 gold or one copper? It just makes sense. So I'm going to go ahead and post those two at 419.99. Post them up. Refresh. And there I am on top. And always make sure you refresh before you post, just so you make sure no one else has posted before you. Okay? And obviously the more you, you know, you do the auction house, you get to know a lot of people especially if they know you have a lot of gold. So kind of try to keep that down on the down low. Um, just got friends whispering me here now and then. It's not a big deal. It's pretty fun. I actually enjoy the community and uh, talking with people and teaching people how to use the auction house. So uh, it's, it's pretty fun to make gold. Just be, uh, be conservative about it and make sure you stay up to date with it and always check your auctions every time you get on. The first thing you should do is check your auctions, make sure nobody's undercut you. If they have, then just undercut them again if the price is reasonable. If not, then buy them out and resell them. If it's not 10 gems like this guy just did. I happen to know Ty Levine, so not a big deal. Let his gems sell, not a big deal. If you're in a crunch for money or gold, obviously I'd throw some more up there and undercut them, but I'm not. So I'm just gonna let them have the reins on those gems, the brilliance, and uh, I'll move on from there. One thing that I dislike about Auctioneer when you first install it is it has this compact UI, which can easily be disabled because um, you'll also notice that my, uh, my window is a lot bigger. And you can, all do, you can do that in the configuration 
by just going into clicking the configure button at the top there and going into compact UI and I'll uncheck that and then click done and then just reload my UI. Okay, now that that's done, let's go ahead and check it out and see if it's still doing that. Nope. See, now everything's back to the uh, the default listing style. And once again, you can do that by going into Configuration and going into Compact UI and unchecking Enable Use of Compact UI. Now, I don't like it because it's just too small and everything just looks way too small for me. Okay. Um... You know, it's easier to see. I like the default listing style because I'm used to it. Um, but I love Auctioneer and uh, the tools that come with it, especially Appraiser. It saves you a lot of time. Um, so you can just go in and click refresh to see if someone's undercut you rather than shift clicking all the time and repricing. Because the last thing that you priced it at, 351 is what I priced it at. And that's what it stays at until you change it again. So you don't have to retype all that in. Just saves you a lot of time. And that's valuable, especially when you're up against a lot of people that are running the auction house. All right, it's mail time. This is kind of like Christmas. I want to go over and check to see how much gold I've acquired within the last few minutes. I have a lot of expirations that are in there. They're going to be coming back. I'll probably need... No, I have quite a bit of bag space. So I'm going to float through here. And... Make sure I don't have any personal messages or anything that was sent to me first because I do use an add-on called Postal, which allows me to just open all my emails or all my in-game mails at once by clicking Open All. Now, in the duration of this, you can see in the chat log down here, it says how much what, what was purchased and how much. And I kind of like to watch my gold down there. But since all the gold that was acquired is... Uh, well, there's one more flask right there that I sold. And what, what's going to happen is, once this is all done collecting, um, it's going to show me when I close my mailbox how much gold I've acquired uh, within that gathering of the mail. Okay, it's just really cool. I like to see how much I've collected through the mail. Um, and it refreshes your mail automatically, as you, you'll see here in one second. Now that it's done collecting everything, Mr. Plow likes to kick in which is this button right here and it sorts all my items in my bags once in a while you'll get an error but it's not a big deal you can actually just close the error out so okay getting ready to close my mailbox I'm not expecting a whole lot maybe a thousand gold yeah about a thousand nine hundred fifty five gold is what I acquired um, is what I collected in that mail gathering okay so not bad usually every day I'll collect like 10k 12k 15k 20k depending on what I'm selling uh, but that's it that's the appraiser I'm gonna be going over uh, a lot more stuff so make sure you guys subscribe uh, I'm gonna be going over a lot of tips and tricks on um, what niches and what markets to get into uh, what's hot and what's not so make sure you stick around check out my videos subscribe and hopefully sometime soon I can get up a Facebook page as well so I hope you guys enjoyed it this is a writer I'll check you guys later on wild marketeer thanks a lot